Hello everyone, I am Kedar Shilar, founder of NCAM Planning Solutions. I welcome you all in this video. Previously, we have launched our four AutoLink dashboards for project progress review for contractors, developers, then HST dashboard and dashboard for contract management. Now, we are launching our new dashboard, namely Quality Assurance Review Dashboard. This dashboard is also auto-linked dashboard. Auto-linked means if you update the values in Excel, it will automatically will update in the PPT. So when you open your folder, you will find these two files, Excel file and presentation file. These two files that we are going to link to each other. I'm going to explain this video in two parts. First part, how to link these two files that is Excel file and presentation file. How to link the charts in the presentation file to the Excel file. And second part is the various part of this dashboard. You can see the various graphs and charts in this dashboard. So let's begin with our first part that is how to link these charts to your Excel file. Select any chart, go to the filters, edit links to the file, go to the change source, find your file, select it, say open, update now and close. This is how you need to link all these charts to your Excel file. So if you change the value in the Excel file, it will automatically reflect in your dashboard. Now let's discuss second part that is the various parts of this dashboard. Let's begin with our Excel file. Open your Excel file. You can see various sheets, the number of sheets in here. So every sheet represents the different part of your dashboard. So let's understand one by one. The first sheet that is project information. In this sheet, you need to write all the project information. Second sheet that is site observation and NCR status. In this sheet, you need to update all these records for various packages involved in your project like RCC, finishing, services, infra. Number of packages are there. So you will get report for the site observation month wise in that particular package. Similarly, you need to update the values for the NCR status. Apart from that, you need to update all the values for aging of the observations and the aging of the aging of the NCRs here. So once you update these values, you can take these values to the dashboard. The next part that is penalties and the repair cost. In this sheet, you need to write all the cost and penalties debited and imposed to you. The first part here, you need to write the month wise extra extra cost due to the rework, the amount to be written here in lakhs and the percentage amount that is the total cost of the project with respect to that you need to update this percentage. Then the next part that is the defect here you need to write the defects, the cost of the rework for that particular defect, the total amount debited to the contractor and the penalty imposed by the client to the contractor. So when you update these values your graphs will be automatically updated here. The next sheet that is inspect and test plan. In this sheet, you need to update all the information related to your test conducted at your site month wise. The first table that is test conducted grade and month wise here you need to update your values the test conducted your grade wise and the month wise so you will get the data here. Apart from that you need to update all the values of the pass and felt cubes and the test conducted at your site so the values will be updated in your dashboard and the chart. Here you need to write the equipment inspection report with respect to the the client, client, contractor and PMC. In the next sheet that is quality rating, here there are a lot of parameters are given related to the quality. You need to update the values with respect to the weightage given to that particular item and the ratings to be given for after completion of that work. The next sheet that is various quality parameters. In this sheet, you need to update the values related to the complaints from the customer. So there are two types of complaints, the critical and the non-critical. So here you need to update the status of the critical and not critical complaints with respect to the salt status and month wise. So when you update these values, charts will be updated automatically. The next sheet that is corrective action plan. In this sheet, you need to write the major corrective actions, the root cause for that particular defect. The next sheet that is saving on the testing and the calibration. This is the sheet where you need to update the values the where you have saved your cost in your testing and the calibration. The next sheet that is 
your monthly concreting status. In this status, you need to update the values of your concrete grade wise, month wise. You are updating the values against the total plant, and these are the particularly the completion of the concrete completed in that particular month, and you will get the cumulative status so that the graph will be generated for the total amount of work to be completed against the tracking part that is how much you have completed your grade wise. So this is all about our excel sheet. Now let's get back to our ppt file that is our dashboard. Now let's understand the various parts of the dashboard. On the on the upper side here you will find the information about your project. Below that let's begin from this left. Let's begin from the right side of your dashboard. Here you will find the quality observation status, NCR status, the group wise. Below that the total quality observations, then overall NCR status, then below that aging of the quality observations, aging of the NCRs. Below that here you will find the equipment inspection report as per the specific Below that you will find the major defects, root cause and the corrective action plans to solve that particular defect. Now on the left side of the dashboard you will find the extra cost of the poor quality and the rework. Here you will get the month wise status how much extra cost that you have paid for your poor work and the rework. Besides that here you will find quality rating. We have got the 78% quality rating in this project. Besides that you will find the status of the conducted test. The pass and the failed status. Below that you will find the penalty imposed by the client then the total amount debited to the subcontract. Besides that the extra percent cost against the total cost of the project month wide status. Then the number of quality walks conducted at your site. Then the total savings on the testing and the calibration. Below that the, com the customer complaint report. Besides that you will find the total concrete quantity versus cumulative achieved status and below that the total number of the test that you are conducted at your site if you want this dashboard there's a link in the description thank you for watching like share and subscribe our youtube channel thank you